Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and today I've got a few colours. Got an idea. <laughs> um, so we've got some yellow ochre, some burnt umber, some alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue and sap green and titanium white. And we need a bit of a red, a bit of white, a bit of brown. So the umber red and the white so we're uh, going to be doing something a little bit different color wise I don't tend to do uh, ready brown skies that often <laughs> but it was one of those days where it was a bit misty and a bit weird it was a bit of a weird day so the sky was a bit pinky browny color So we'll put it in. You get all kinds of uh, skies though, don't you? All kinds of different skies, especially at dusk. Early in the morning when uh, <laughs> when I used to start work at 4am. I used to drive to work, I'd see all kinds of skies. used to be uh, used to be really interesting I used to be always looking thinking wow that sky is amazing today and when the sky was green <laughs> I used to think wow I've never seen a green sky before so we'll build up this sky just still doing the brown and the red it works quite nice on this paper as well this uh, sketchbook no scrapbook I should say so we're using acrylics on a scrapbook So I'm just filling this in, filling it in, something like that, it gives us a good uh, base. Now I might just do it while it's still wet, there's a uh, mountain shape, use a bit more of the brown and red make a stronger colour really you get that shape in the sky the distant mountain kind of vanishes at the bottom, the mist kind of takes it away. I'm even going to soften the edge of the mountain as well. Just completely uh, soften it really. And a little bit darker at the top. Okay, I'll leave that to uh, vanish a little bit. Okay. 
and then with that same color, that same mix, I'm going to put a little bit of green in it because I want to come forward and put some of the trees in. So we've got a little bit of the sap green in with the brown and red. And we can start coming forward. closer. some of the yellow ochre, some of the sap green, Just a little bit of the ground. <laughs> I've almost mixed up the paper colour. <laughs> my uh, paint a little bit of water because it is really warm at the moment so I need to make sure it doesn't dry out too quick go for a little bit more of the green Throwing in uh, some blue and red and brown and green, making a real dark colour so we can darken things up a little bit. Just soften that again. Just slowly building it up. I want some uh, dark here. Got a tree there. There's another one here. And there's another one there. And there's a couple there. So I'll go backwards like that. And 
there's one here. It sort of goes all the way. All the way up like this. that I just let this bit dry a little bit and while that's drying there's a strip of light this sort of goes zoom along here so we can zoom that along <laughs> some yellow ochre some sap green some titanium white Bit of, bit of brown in it as well. I've got this light coming along here. Actually, a bit of this here as well. Now I've got some yellow and yellow ochre and green, maybe a little bit of red in it in, as well. So a little bit of alizarin, crimson, yellow ochre, sap green. I'll start looking at the light because the light was hitting this one side of it here. to show you what it looks like <laughs> so I know it kind of when it's wet it's harder to see and then I just tap my finger sort of taps taps it away and then on this one as well from there And on this tree, a bit more of a, a bit more of a reddish kind of look. Okay, so now a bit of yellow ochre and white. <laughs> And start doing little bits here as well. I'll we'll go along there. that and then a little bit of 
bit of dark. Can go a bit darker in places. A bit of dark behind here. Because that would uh, shadow. And then there's a tree that's casting a shadow along here as well. I might do just uh, for interest. I'm tempted. <laughs> what if there's a moon in the sky still? Get a little bit of white and the pink on my finger. Maybe there's a, a moon there. Tapping it a bit more just to remove paint, really. Yeah, I quite like the idea of that. Now, as it, it starts to dry a little bit, I can uh, come back with a bit of white and yellow ochre, touch some of these areas a bit more. pinkish colour in it as well. Add a little bit of a sort of a bluish purpley color, a little bit of a crimson, and a little bit of the blue. That sort of purpley color. I'm gonna add that into my shadow a little bit. Just smudge that a bit. Use a bit more of the reddish purple as well in in my darks. More on the red. I 
why not? I might put a little bit of a shape there. Oh, you can't really see it. Yeah, some tree shapes. do just to give this area a bit something a bit better I want a bit more green in it Grab myself some dark so I can put in some little sticks and twigs and things along here. Trees. tree branches and stuff A few uh, lighter ones of these as well. Mm -hmm. Could uh, indicate a path that goes sort of back there. It gets darker there and it goes around, goes over there. tree sort of here it doesn't have any leaves on it anymore
Okay, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll actually <laughs> change my mind. I want to put some leaves on that one. Just getting a bit of uh, the red and the green. I might put a few leaves on that one. I'll do that one as well. A little bit of light. Mm, that's quite nice. The light there as well. Just break that up. Okay. Quite like that nice little landscape. So the one thing that I want to do now. I sort of want to close it in here. Maybe there's a, a tree there. And then I'm going to put a few uh, green leaves on that as well. few of these bits up. that I think I'll uh, finish at that point. I quite like it actually. It's quite a nice little uh, scene. A bit of light on that tree on that one side. Yeah I think we'll uh, finish there. I enjoyed myself there. <laughs> I just got lost in the painting really. That's what I tend to uh tend to do. So there we go. There's the uh finished one. I'll uh, wait for it to dry a second and then I'll show you the finished painting. 
So uh, thanks very much for watching this one, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.